All right, cool. So pretty much I'm going to break down this trade. I'm, I'm going to break down my top three and then um, we'll ask the, we'll have like a little Q and A at the end. All right, cool. So what's up guys? Pretty much I'm going to break down my swing trading strategy. I'm going to give you guys some insights on pretty much how I do it. Um, very, very simple. It just requires a lot of patience. So let's just get straight into it. So starting off with NZD CAD, right? I always like starting off on the monthly. So um, let's just break it down from the beginning to keep it um, so you guys understand my full thought process behind it, right? So pretty much you can tell right here, price is having structural lows, highs, lows, highs, lows. Keep in mind, we are on the monthly time frame. Lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low, previous resistance acting as support. Then we have a higher high breaking previous structure level here, here, and this, right? So we knew that this is completely bullish, but now all of a sudden we have this huge bearish engulfing, creating engulfing, basically, let's see how much price action is solid. 180 days, this one candle broken. So there's some pretty strong bearish pressure, right? So you go out like this, hold on, let's delete this. And you can tell that the higher low structure, high, low, higher, high has been broken. As you can see, the body has closed under the previous higher low. So now the monthly is bearish, right? We go out to the weekly and we've already been known this, that the weekly is bearish. You look at structure, you have high, low, high, low, high then as soon as this red body closed under this higher low the weekly went bearish for those of you that have been watching me for about two three weeks you can tell i was in mexico when this happened and then you can tell pretty much how i anticipated the lower high on the daily time frame to retest previous structure level you guys can literally just go back to my screenshots or the videos anticipated the lower high level to continue bearish right but it's Keep it going with the weekly. So now we know that the weekly is bearish. So I'm anticipating okay. any pullbacks to go short. So the ideal pullback for the weekly would be at this previous resistance, 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 support, support. Thank you. Hot sauce inside? To price. Come back here along there, with there's a hot sauce here? Yes. yes. To come and reject. Thank you. We got somebody talking again. Damn, I tried muting him. Hold on, guys. If this is going to happen, I'm going to have to. All right, cool. I just removed Henry. All right. So pretty much confirming that the weekly is bearish. Now we're looking for any pullbacks to go short. So. You go down to the daily and very cleanly on the daily, you can see the shift in structure. You can see the low, high, low, high, low. So now we know that this is the lower high. This is a fact and this is the lower low. Anything above this level, as long as price remains under this, we are bearish. As long as price breaks this level, then it will be the new lower low. Once price breaks this, it will be a new lower low. Once price breaks this, it'll be the new higher high. So as long as we're under this level, we are bearish, correct? So now, let me look at it like this. So pretty much you guys can very clearly tell the shift, low, high, low, high, low, lower high at resistance, 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 support, and it goes on. It is also a 88.450, right? But when you look at this on the weekly, I mean, on the monthly frame, you can tell that we need more than this little petty pullback. Yes, it looks like it's retesting the monthly EMA. But when you look at it like this, you do, you throw your little fib retracement from wick to wick, which is the full month. And you can tell how perfectly the 38.2 lines up with previous monthly resistance and support. You go down to the weekly time frame, and you can tell how it is also weekly resistance, resistance, along with the EMA. And then you throw your FIB from your daily lower high 
which is here, and then you anticipate any pullbacks, which would also line up with your 78.6. And by the time price decides to have the bullish structure to this area, this daily EMA has caught up to here where it's support, resistance, resistance, and so on. And there's also round level of 89,300. So here you have your monthly FIB with your daily FIB, you have your daily EMA, you have your weekly EMA, you have weekly structure, you have so many things at this zone right here that it's gonna be a strong, strong area for price to have a big move down. And I am going to be swinging this from here to a new low that will be created and it perfectly lines up the 20, the negative 27 with the next structure level that is support, 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 and then resistance. So if price decides to not go all the way up to this level, I'm gonna be waiting because we are now at a level that it can very much reject, right? Very easily resistance, resistance, right? Let me do it like this. You have one, one, two, three, four, most definitely can be the fifth level and it can be very much a four hour double top to then have price pushed down. And then as well, you can tell how this EMA is very well respected. When price is bearish, it is respecting at every lower high structure. Very clearly, you can see it here. So this can very much be the next one to push it down. And when price is bullish, it rises above. But that's not, I don't really care about the EMA. I care more about structure. So the only way I will go short on this is when the one hour structure goes bearish because very much the one hour is still bullish. You see the high, the low, high, low, high. So I need the lower low a lower high breaking the structure retesting this one hour ema and then on the four hour it would confirm that we're rejecting this area along with our fib and then resistance um resistance respecting resistance here our daily is rejecting our area of interest that is if price doesn't make it to this level once price makes it to this level if it breaks through here then we'll be looking for shorts here if I get this little break and retest, I'll sell it from here to this structure. And if the daily body closes under structure like this, then I'll be holding all the way to my final take profit. If not, if price decides to break above very well, then I'll be waiting for price to make it to here. And once we get to here, I'll wait for a shift in structure to then swing it all the way down, right? So that's NZD CAD. This is a very, very clean pair. I'm very interested in it, but even easier than this is GBPCHF. For those of you that know me, this is actually my bread and butter. I've been trading this pair forever. I've probably made my most money on this pair, right? So hold on, because now I can't even do it like this. All right, cool. So pretty much let's start off on the monthly frame, right? So very clearly, the monthly has broken above and closed above the previous structure, right? You don't have to be a rocket science to see. You see the low, the high, the low, now a higher high, breaking and closing above this structure level, also around 29,500, right? You also look left, and it is also a respected support, resistance, support, resistance, 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 and it goes on, right? So we have closed above that. This is stupid bullish momentum, right? Hold on. Let me do this. this is very strong bullish momentum. So we're anticipating the minor, the most minimal pullback to retest this structure to then go long. You also go out to the weekly time frame, and coincidentally, it is the previous weekly bodies. You see them right here, previous weekly bodies. And then you look left and it is also support, support, and it goes on. So it will look like a wick very much like this. And then it will be structured on the four hour. Then we enter to go long. You go down to the daily and it is a very well respected daily resistance that I boxed off because it was trapped in here for quite a while. So it'll be a daily structure level. It'll be daily and four hour structure and we'll be entering on the weekly wick to then go down, right? Once we get the pullback, it is a very well respected support resistance. So I'm waiting for any pullbacks to this level to go long. I'm not interested in the shorts. Any of the levels, any shorts right now would be a counter trend trade because we have the big frames in our favor. We got the boy Daniel Savage on the live over here learning how to swing trade. <laughs> I just saw you, my bro. So that's GBPCHF. I'm looking for any pullbacks, 
any pullbacks to go along in this. Have my alarm set, I'll be waiting. Throw your fib. So uh, from structure to structure, what a coincidence. It is the 38.2 psychological level, monthly, weekly, daily resistance, and all of that shit, right? And then my other very one interested is GBP CHF, right? So um, we've actually caught some really nice moves on this lately, but um, let's be breaking it down. So same thing as GBP CHF. You can clearly tell how we've broken out high, low, high. Now we're looking for the higher low to have the next higher high. So you go out to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame is clearly rejecting previous structure level, which is also round level 137, 100. Weekly bullish pin bar. You go down to the daily and you can see how the daily has had the shift. The low, lower high, higher low, higher high. So now we're anticipating a higher low at the previous daily structure previous daily support, previous daily resistance, previous daily EMA to act as support to then go long, right? So here you have daily structure, EMA, and daily round level of 13800. You go down to the four hour and then perfectly, you can tell very well respected structure of area. And then it'll also be the previous four hour higher high. And we'll have the higher low with the four hour EMA here. You throw your FIB from point A to point B, and then the fib has completed on the four hours. So now you basically literally just move the fib and it lines up perfectly from point A to point B. And we're looking for a pullback to have our C to then have our final retracement and then looking to target these previous highs at 140,000. That is very well respected. So this is going to be a very, very clean trade. So I'm looking for any pullbacks to this structure level to go long. I've been seeing the comments go crazy. I haven't even been looking at the comments. So yeah, thank you, my boy, Daniel, pay attention. Yeah. So um, let's stop the recording here. Have a little Q&A. Stop the recording.